Hi, my name is Oliver Temmler and I'm in the digital workflow department in, uh, at Ari Munich. And today I want to talk about the new XR capture drives, uh, the XR module and the Alexa XT camera. The new XR capture drives, they can record any format the camera can output. So this is Ari RAW, ProRes and in a future release also DNX HD. Um, now once I'm done recording, I can eject the drive takes a while to unload and put it into one of the three transfer stations that we have as an option. One would be a USB puck, the second would be a SAS dock with uh, dual drives so you can put in two drives. And the third is the Codex Vault, a standalone unit that will allow you to do everything without a computer in a remote location or on set. So when I take this drive and insert it into a Mac, now the SAS dock in this case. I can access the drive and it'll show me one file format that's recorded. So this, of course we recorded every raw, so it's gonna show me every raw now. Um, so here's my scene, uh, my take, and this is all the individual every raw files in the clip. Now whatever is displayed here is actually controlled by the uh, Codex virtual file system. So if I fire up the codex controls, here's the setup for my virtual file system. So right now I've selected ARI, so I can only output ARI files from the drive to get the original camera footage. If I switch to a different one, let's say something else we provided, we'll have metadata, quick time movies in uh, HD resolution, ARI files and MXF files. And if I look back at my, at my drive, then you see uh, next to the ARI files, another folder shows up with QuickTime movies. The files are not really on the drive. On the drive, we only have the ARI RAW file. The Codex Virtual File System uh, transcodes it to whatever format you need whenever you request the file. I could play back directly from, from a magazine, but usually you would first copy that over. And when you take these shots into uh, an application, like uh, every raw converter version 3 and you, you'd be able to play them back directly. So um, in the Codex control software I have the VFS tab and that gives me a configuration option where I can select whatever file I want to see on these drives. So for example I could set it to show metadata, QuickTime movies, ARI files and MXFs. So these would actually show up directly on the drive. Um, now I'm just going to switch over to only get Airy Raw, so I'll only have Airy Raw. And this, I'm going to copy over this clip. So when I bring this, this footage over into our Raw Converter, uh, I have this clip right here. The new Raw Converter, this is a, a preview version of the Raw Converter. It's separated into three main rooms. We have Browse View and Render. Uh, in Browse, I have a file system browser. I can show all the, all the clips that are, for example, in, uh, in one of these folders. I can have thumbnails or I can have just a simple list view. Um, these clips, I can then scrub here, decide which ones I want and just drop them into my project. The project is on this side uh, and it's separated into uh, sequences and bins. In a bin, I can just collect clips together and in the sequence I can actually set in and out points. So if I go over to my view section and say I make a new sequence, dancer, I can drop in my files. It is the same take twice, doesn't matter. So with this, I'm gonna start here. This is my in point, and my out point. And on the second clip, I'm gonna start here. So this is my in point, this is my out point. And when I play back these files, the raw converter now uses the settings I just made and plays back the clips in exactly these settings. So this is not de-squeezed, the other one was de-squeezed. The raw converter can also apply a, a lookup table to the files um, using the, the Airy look file controls. So I have printer light controls. I can create a look quite quickly. Oh, I have to activate it up here. So the Auto Rock Converter um, also offers the option to 
to put in ARRI look files or CDL um, controls to the video. So I can do a primary collect correction of the video. I can do lift gamma gain or slope offset power correction. So I can just create a little look here. So as I play back, again, it shows me the clips I edited with this look and the other clips uh, regular and unedited. The RAW converter also gives me a, a metadata overview. So this is all the metadata we recorded with the camera. I have clip name, camera type. I have uh, image, um, image parameters like what the ASA value was, what the sharpness setting is in my debearing. Uh, I have lens data also in this in every file, so this is also displayed here. Now, when I edited a sequence, let's say we have a sequence like this, um, I can take the sequence and bring it into the render room. The render room allows me to select uh, several output formats. Currently, this is not operational; this is just for demo here. We could select a DPX file or, for example, a ProRes file. Um, drop in a sequence and render it out in, in different formats. So that's a quick overview of the XR workflows with the new XR module in the Alexa XT and a preview of the Array Raw Converter 3.0. Again, my name is Oliver Temmler and I hope you enjoyed the show.